the most emotional teenagers I've ever had to deal with. <gasps> ah, no. Hey my little rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family. We are going to try to accomplish a lot of things in this episode. We are going to be having a birthday party and aging a Prince Johan, Prince Frederick, and also, I feel like there's someone else that needs to age up too. Oh, and Ariana, which is Princess Belle and Prince Francisco's daughter. And technically, Prince Frederick, I think, was supposed to be older than Prince William because we aged up Prince William in the last episode. But I think they were, I think Prince William was born like the day after Prince Frederick was. So they're really close in age. So we'll just say that they're the same age. I mean, this episode's taking place like a day after the last episode. And we have to talk about the last episode too because that was some serious stuff going on in the last episode. And there are also some other things I need to talk about in this episode as well, but I'll kind of get to those as, as we go along. So I'm gonna go ahead, actually, where is everybody? Nobody's home. I know we haven't been with the Brindleton Bay royal family in a while. Their dog Cinnamon actually passed away of old age. That dog lived for a really long time though. So I think it was about time, but it's just really sad. And then they still have their dog Cairo. So I think they'll probably be getting another dog fairly soon, but it's already kind of a full household. Also, does anybody know a cheat or like what to do when the pets keep getting sick? Cause they they get sick all the time. And at least with like, I'm gonna try to uh, plan this birthday party as I'm talking, but at least with the, like the humans, the Sims, at least I can go into MC Command Center and like delete the buffs that say they're sick. And for some reason I can't do the cheat thing that I do with the humans on the dogs. And I just have to like actually bring them to the vet and it's honestly just a hassle. All right, so I have just planned the birthday party. So while we are waiting for our guests to arrive, well, actually I just wanna show you guys Frederick and Mar Molly for a second because we haven't seen them in a while. Molly is so cute. I'm gonna have her change into her party outfit though because this is not her party outfit. Okay, now she's in her little party outfit and you guys, she's so adorable. Actually, I think this is the same, is that the same dress? I think it might be the same dress that I gave to Alice May, but just a different style. But oh gosh, guys, it's adorable. And then we have Frederick and he's going to be, where is he? Oh yeah, he's gonna be turning into a child now. And then Johan's gonna be turning into an adult. So in the last episode, we had Princess Aisha of Oasis springs age up into a teenager and this is her with her new look so i mean she had a crazy look when she turned into a teenager but this is the new outfit that i had picked for her and you guys oh gosh i have to go to her so you can see she looks like naya with blonde hair like her face she looks exactly like naya aria kind of i don't know she kind of looks like naya but there's something else about her i don't think it's from philip though i feel like it's from i don't know maybe her grandparents or something and then kimberly definitely looks like her father and she looks exactly actually like Naya. I love seeing the way the kids look. It's so cool. And then at some point in this episode, I need to play from the Royal Family of Oasis Springs view just so we can revisit because I want to kind of hang around with Arya and have her talk to Gabrielle, who I think might be coming to this birthday party. And then obviously Princess Kimberly, we need to talk about with Prince Charles. So I can actually talk about that now. I think we will just blow the candle or add birthday candles before someone takes it and then I'll have them start blowing out the candles very soon. But here is Princess Kimberly. So she is here and then we have Arya and oh, and then we have Lord Ian here too. So I'm pretty sure uh, Prince James is also here somewhere. But here is Kimberly and she, oh, oh my God. And there's Charles, you guys. They're right next to each other. And then Arya is talking to Kimberly. Are they trying to like avoid each other? This is so interesting right now. Oh my gosh. They're like standing right next to each other. I feel like Charles is like, pretending to be talking to someone else, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay, so basically, because I saw a lot of mixed comments in the last video, but with Charles and with Kimberly, I do think that Charles, okay, well, he walked away, but I do think that Charles was so drunk and so sad. And I think him and Kimberly got to talking and I don't think Kimberly, like I feel like it'd be out of character for Kimberly to have just like pounced on Charles. I do think that, oh my God, every time they go near each other, I'm like, oh, are they gonna talk? Are they gonna kiss? I'm like so wary of them now. But I think that maybe Kimberly, cause she's, she's a loner. So she doesn't like big parties and big events. Oh gosh, oh no, people are changing into their bathing suits. Aisha just changed into her bathing suit. But I do feel like she's kind of 
forced to go to these parties. I mean, she's a royal, like this is the life she lives. Like there's a lot of social events. Her family is close with a lot of these royals too. But I think her and Charles just started talking. Kimberly might have also been drinking. And someone did also say because she's a loner, like it wouldn't have made sense for her to hook up with Charles. But I don't think that's true. I think you can still like not like being in big crowds and you can still hook up with someone. So I think that Charles and Kimberly, they were just both drunk and they were talking to each other. And then one thing led to another and then they started making out in the closet. Or more than that, they started hooking up in the closet. Which is like the most dramatic, I mean like there's been a lot of dramatic things that have happened in this series, but I think that caught me off guard so much. Oh, and then after the last episode, a lot of people were saying, make sure that Princess Kimberly isn't pregnant because they messed around and like make sure MC Command Center didn't do anything. She's not pregnant, I checked, I made sure to check. And I'm actually going to go ahead and have Prince Frederick age up. So. We're gonna help him blow out the candles and age him up. And then Molly Grace will probably age up in a few more episodes, probably not the next episode. Kimberly and Charles keep like being around each other and I'm like, what is going on? So, okay, I do think, oh, oh, Fre Frederick's aging up. Okay, there's too much happening. I can't multitask very well. Oh, okay, Sadira just like, pushed her son through that table. Okay, Prince Frederick has aged up. He was wild as a child. They need so many more aspirations and traits for toddlers and children. If he's wild, I always kind of make them more social or motor skill or aspiration of motor. I don't know, that's such a weird sentence to say. Okay, he's gonna be the king of Brindleton Bay. So what do we want him to be like? Why don't I do random first first trait? Okay, so he, oh, okay, he's creative. Okay, so I guess creativity would be his aspirations. That's fine. All right, Prince Frederick, has aged up. I'm gonna pick his outfits in a bit, but I am going to have a Prince Johan. He is going to blow out the candles, and then I will have Lady Ariana blow out the candles as well. Everyone is gathering here, and I don't know why. Every time people gather, I kind of get scared. I just feel like something bad's gonna happen. I just love so much that Aisha has her father's hair, but look like her face is exactly like her mother's. And here's Prince James too, you guys. We haven't seen them in a while. Him and Ian, they, I keep meaning for them to get dogs. I haven't done that yet. Okay, and then Prince Johan, he has aged up into an adult adult. Who's next? Is Naya next? Oh gosh, you guys. I keep meaning to make a list. I started making a list of like the ages of everybody and then I forgot. All right, but now we are going to have Lady Ariana blow out the candles. So she's going to become a teenager. I have this feeling that she's going to look like Prince Francisco a little bit more. I don't know, just her features as a child. That's kind of what I see, but I guess we will see right now. Okay, so she aged up. Oh guys, okay. Okay, who, who does she look like? I think she does look a little bit more like Francisco. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm gonna play around with her outfits later on too. I am actually going to change Prince Frederick's outfit real quick and play around with his outfits and just pick one thing for you guys to see what he looks like and then Lady Ariana, I'll do a little bit later. So this is Prince Frederick, you guys. I kept his curly hair because he had curly hair when he was a kid, but he's so cute, you guys. I'm so excited to see him grow up too. And he's going to be the future king of Brindle to Bay after his father, Prince Johan. And he's super cute, he's super creative, he's very artsy. I do need to show you guys too Prince William. I think he should, I don't know if he's at the party. I think he should be though. So I do wanna continue the rest of the party from the Oasis Springs Royal Family view because we just have a lot to focus on with Arya and with Kimberly. And I mean, now with Aisha too, we gotta see what kind of stuff she'll get into as well. But since Jabari and Kellen, they saw Charles hooking up with Kimberly. They were like literally in the room. Like they didn't do a very good job of hiding it. They were just so drunk. So since they saw, I mentioned the last episode that maybe Jabari had told Amira, but other people were saying, no, maybe they tried to talk to Charles about it. I mean, like he made a mistake, a big mistake. And he still has to talk to Araminta too. Araminta has been trying to talk to him, but I kind of feel like Charles might be avoiding her just cause he doesn't know how to tell her. Like he wants to tell her cause he wants to be honest, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like Araminta was like, I want to talk to you. I, like I have a lot of stuff to say. And I feel like Charles just has been putting it off because he doesn't know what to say to her. And then I feel like his brother, Kellen, and brother-in-law Jabari, I think that they had a talk with him about it too. Just like, remember your rank, like watch what you do, that kind of thing. Especially because it was like another princess from another kingdom that Windenburg and Oasis Springs, they have a pretty good relationship too. Oh gosh, you guys. Oh, 
Wait, Charles is crying. Why is he crying? Oh no, I think Charles is just so upset about Araminta still. And then I do think that Kimberly feels really bad, you guys. She already like, oh gosh, yeah, stranger danger from loner trait. She does not like being around all these people. So I'm gonna have her sit somewhere else. But yeah, I do feel like Kimberly feels really bad. I don't know. I don't know if she's talked to Charles about this. I, I think they have talked. I think maybe Charles, maybe he told her that things are really complicated with Araminta and Araminta wanted to talk to him. So like if she could not tell anyone so he can tell her himself. I'm sure Kimberly's like told her sisters at least though. I think Aisha is like an insider too. I think that's one of her traits. Oh no, it's not. Oh, Aisha's a snob. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, what her aspiration is to be fabulously wealthy. I'm pretty sure she's already fabulously wealthy. <gasps> oh my God, you guys. It's his son and his grandson's birthday party. And he's dying at their birthday party. Oh, oh, I thought he was younger than King Henry was. Oh my God, this just means that King Henry is gonna be dying soon, you guys. Oh my, this, literally like that's all this is making me feel is that like King Henry's going to be dying soon. Obviously sad about King Jared, but like, oh my God. Uh, ah, no. Well, shoot. Oh my gosh. This is probably not the time then to be here. Like we were still having the birthday party for them, but clearly I think the birthday party is ending right now. I do remember watching The Crown and the fact that like coronation ceremonies happen like months after the death of the monarch, just to like give the kingdom time to mourn. Like, yeah, I understand that makes sense. I think either in the next episode or the one after that, we'll have the coronation ceremony for Prince Johan, or I guess now King Johan. Like as soon as the monarch Monarch dies, he's technically the king, but like that the coronation ceremony is just more ceremonial. So this is super sad. And normally I would end an episode after something like this happens, but like I think it's a little early to end the episode. There was still a lot that I wanted to do. I'm just gonna have to like put this on the back burner. Are there plates up here? Who hit plates up here? That's horrible. But I do think it would be a little bit disrespectful to keep hanging out here when Jared and the Brindle to Bay family is going through this. Or, or I mean not. Jared. Jared just died. <laughs> but while the Brindle to Bay royal family is mourning, maybe we should not continue to have this party here. Maybe everyone should go home. I'm sure there's some people sticking around and comforting Brindle to Bay family. Oh, Nea's so sad, you guys. It's her uncle. I feel so bad. So I'm bringing us back to the Oasis Springs Royal Palace, and I'm going to start a kids club gathering here. I still have not finished the palace. I actually haven't touched it since I filmed the episode where we had the birthday party here and I showed you guys the palace. I will do that and I will upload it to the gallery as soon as I do. But if you want to download the original, I ah, the original creator, Lily, I think she told me she took it down, but I'll have to, actually, did she? Let me check. No, she didn't. Okay, so this is Lily. So this is her username, UFOSA96. So you can download the original Oasis Springs Palace in her gallery. And then when I'm done renovating my version of it, then I will upload that to my gallery. And I will let you guys know as soon as I do that too. <gasps> Oh guys, Arya and Gabriel are just, they're talking, they're talking. I think I saw, <gasps> yep, I see a little bit of a romantic relationship there, you guys. I feel like there's just been rumors spreading about Gabriel that he's kind of getting frustrated with. I feel like there's rumors of him like maybe acting out. Oh, so, oh no, Arya's sad though, so this might be hard to get her to talk to him. But I feel like because of the rumors, Naya and Philip have kind of tried to avoid pushing Arya. Arya and Gabriel together, and they might be looking for some other candidates for her. Her and Lord Aaron didn't really hit it off. I couldn't really see them together. No, Prince Manuel's enraged her in the irresponsible treat. No! Oh my god, do your homework. Oh, but he's talking to Cornelius, so Cornelius is here. I feel like Cornelius also might be acting out. I don't know. Him and Gabriel are cousins, too. Oh, and then Samaria and Bellatrix. I'm not playing from either point of their view, so I can't really play from them. I might have to wait until the next episode. I know I said that last episode, but I might have to wait until the next episode to focus on them a little bit more. Also, I realized I was saying someone corrected me and my boyfriend corrected me. I was saying Kaleo, but his name is Kaleo, their little brother. So it's Kaleo, not Kaleo. That's my fault. Oh, wait, you guys, no. Arya and Cornelius are arguing with each other. Oh no. Oh my God, Cornelius is like so angry. So is Arya though. Arya, I 
feel like she's kind of like her mother, but I feel like she might be a little bit more strong headed. Is that the word? Strong headed? Stubborn? She's, I feel like she might be a little bit more stubborn. And of course we have Cornelius who's a hothead and big troublemaker. Oh my God, you guys, wait, no! Kimberly and Charles are talking to each other. Can you guys stay away from each other, please? I do not trust you guys after the last episode. And then Bellatrix is here too, talking to them. I feel like maybe she came in and was like, all right guys, maybe stay away from each other a little bit. So I think Charles is, Keeping her updated. Charles is still sad too. I mean, he probably wasn't flirting with Kimberly. I don't know. If he was in a sad mood, he probably wasn't flirting with Kimberly. And no one's drinking here, so I think it's fine. Wait, who the heck? Who is Gabriel and Cornelius being mean to? Oh my God, you guys. Cornelius and Gabriel are yelling at each- Wait, what the heck? What happened? Why is everyone just yelling at each other now? Oh my God. And Charles is crying right next to them. This is just like emotional men everywhere. What is happening? I wonder, may- Oh, maybe. Cornelius, because he was yelling at Arya, maybe he was like talking bad about her and saying a bunch of stuff too as soon as he walked away. And then maybe because Gabriel really likes Arya, maybe he got angry at Cornelius for saying stuff about her to like try to protect her. And then like, then they got into an argument and started yelling at each other. Cause like, they're literally yelling at each other. Like, I don't know what's happening. They're cousins too. Like, what are you doing? Seriously. I just feel like that'd be kind of cute if Gabriel was- <gasps> Oh my God, you guys. Wait, stop! Oh, oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god! Gabriel's fighting his cousin for Arya! Oh my god, Philip just walked by. Arya's father just walked by and saw that. This is their house. They're just causing this ruckus in their house. Oh my god, I do not think that Nea and Philip are going to be easily swayed about Gabriel now. Oh gosh, you guys. But I kind of love that, that Gabriel was like protecting Arya because his cousin was talking bad about him. So he got angry at him for doing it and then got into a fight with him though in her house. I feel like Kimberly's talking to Gabriel and was like, dude, you better chill around my parents. Okay, Arya is trying to talk to Gabriel now and calm him down. I kind of feel like she was like, you didn't have to do that. Like you didn't have to get into a fight. Oh no, Gabriel's crying, why? Oh my God, there's so so many emotions with these teenagers. These are like the most emotional teenagers I've ever had to deal with. I really do feel like that Cornelius and Arya, as soon as they got done with their argument, that Cornelius just started talking a bunch of stuff about her. Because Arya is going to be a monarch and so is Cornelius. So maybe Cornelius was just saying like, oh, she's going to be like an awful queen and like all of this stuff. And then maybe Gabriel just got really mad. But like, I really don't think Nea and Philip are too happy about the fact that Gabriel just got in a fight with Cornelius in their house. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, wait, guys, they just, oh, Arya just kissed him, why is that so cute? Arya is attracted to the fact that he's like, not exactly a good kid, but also I think the fact that he like, stuck up for her and like, fought this person for her and got in trouble for her. I think Arya's really attracted to that baby. Oh my God. Okay, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. I have to know. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here, but let me know what you guys think of Arya and Gabriel and then also of Prince Frederick and the way he looks. I know I didn't show you guys Prince William in this episode, so I'll be sure to show that in the next, or I'll be sure to show him in the next episode, or you can follow me on my Instagram and I'll post some pictures of him and his new look. And then we might not have the coronation. We might have a King Jared's funeral, but we might not have the coronation ceremony for now King Johan until the episode after that. But if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to turn on your notifications if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!